I stayed in an institution for children with disabilities and um, for a six-year-old girl, of course, it's not very easy. My world consisted only of the dormitory and school because in that institution, we are not allowed to go out. And I remember every year pleading with my parents not to bring me there, but either I go to that institution or don't get education. I did not realize that when I was that young, but sports, for me, it was escape. You know, they would always ask, who wants to go swimming, do wheelchair basketball, whatever sport, you know. Um, I would, I, would, I would always volunteer myself because then I would be able to go out and practice. And then I would have the feeling of being free and being able to do what I want. At 16, I went on to the university. I finished my studies and then I had a job and then I got married and then I became a mother. And in all that, sport was always present. I was introduced to the sport of powerlifting as a joke. Because I'm part of the, an ethnic group in the Philippines. And since we're from the mountains, our build is already really stocky. And my male friends would go like, why don't you try powerlifting? It, it was meant to insult me. <laughs> So I said, okay, why not? I really wanted to prove to them that I'm stronger than them. And in 1999, somebody told me why not try to qualify for the Paralympic Games. They, they sent my records to the IPC powerlifting and I ranked at number 11. So the people from the Philippine Sports Commission said, oh, maybe she has a chance. The Philippines never participated in the Paralympic Games. And it was only then they invested in me. They sent me to training, got me a coach, sent me to Bangkok, Thailand in 1999. So that was my first powerlifting international competition. And I got the silver medal. And then we went to Sydney and I was just really nobody. I was so intimidated with the USA team because for every lift, they would go, USA! They were like, USA! You, and the, there was, you know, they were a complete team. And I was just with my coach. And then I came in third. It, you know, it did not only open up opportunities for me, but also for the disability sports in the Philippines. That was a bronze medal, but it sure felt like a gold medal. Through sport, I was given the opportunity to travel, to meet a lot of people, and to, you know, to open my mind to a lot of things. And I want to give that same opportunity to people with disabilities in my country, to make their journeys a little bit easier and to give hope that it's doable. You just have to rise above your difficulties. Difficulties are given. What you do with them, that's the choice.